go to the check. Cage looks good. Body condition. It's a weird shape. Yep. <laughs> Getting sideways in a vehicle, there's just something real fun about it. It's kind of a little bit of an art to drifting around the track and being able to get it to where it's smooth and fast. Haven't lost any vehicles, haven't even heard the ice crack. Usually we uh, try and get out there by nine is when we're supposed to be out there. Take the vehicle off the trailer and just kind of look it over and make sure everything's going good, start it up. Hopefully it starts, cross your fingers. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then just basically get all of our race gear together. Uh, we have to have fire suits, uh, fire rated helmets. Then they do a, a vehicle inspection. They come around and they check and make sure your batteries are tied down properly and um, there's nothing hazardous on your vehicle. From there, it's, we have a driver's meeting. We get together and we, uh, they talk over the rules. Anybody that's new, they explain all the rules, what the flag colors mean and corner workers. Safety is a big thing up there. Okay, everybody's got a green flag. Green flag means go. A waving yellow flag means there's something something wrong out in front of you. It's a lot of fun. Um, the vehicles are, are really safe, so I pretty much have no fear going into the corners at 50 miles an hour sideways. The first couple times, you get a little kind of, oh, is it gonna roll? But uh, after you've gone around a couple times, you get a feel for how the, the vehicle um, handles. I love it, I love getting behind the wheel and being able to race against uh, people. You're racing against the person right next to you. I've basically been attracted to pretty much anything with a motor my entire life. Um, I grew up with dirt bikes and my dad uh, started out doing auto body work when I was a kid and so I helped him out doing that so that got me kind of into the automotive industry um, and then started picking up mechanicing a little more here and there and then I uh, built an off-road truck. I, I did most of it in my driveway with the help of a lot of friends, uh, learned a lot trial and error um, but I just kind of got lucky with the vehicle combination I put together and it worked out pretty good. It's a great truck. We go out uh, four by in a lot, camping and stuff. And pretty big group of us here in Anchorage. To be in Alaska kind of means freedom in a lot of ways. Just to be able to get out and enjoy nature, the uh, ocean, meeting the mountains, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. It's just a wonderful state. I enjoy the fact that there's not a million people here. It's kind of like a really, really big small town. I'd like to see the sport grow. I really enjoy it. I think it's a, it's a really fun activity that you can do in the winter, even summertime. Um, and uh, it's awesome to just be able to keep racing alive. But uh, for me, I just, I love racing. It's something I want to do most of my life. I wish I would have started a long, long, long time ago, but uh, it just happened to show up in my life now. And I'm uh, taking advantage of it while I can.